previous video, we had seen about radius. In this video, we'll be seeing about provisioning in adaptive. Provisioning refers to the process of setting up the IoT infrastructure. It can also refer to the steps that are required to manage the access of resources and web applications and make them available to users and systems. By using inbound provisioning, we can provide user data from specific external systems like the Human Capital Management System called as HCMS to supported directory services. The external system is considered the data source while the directory source which is known to the adaptive identity service is the target. Now let us see how to set up inbound provisioning. For that, login into adaptive admin portal and here First, we need to check if the connector has been set to active or not. For that, under settings, go to network. We see that the status of the connector is active. So now, we'll be moving to inbound provisioning. So now, go to users under settings. Here, inbound provisioning. We need to set a source for the inbound provisioning. For that, click on add source. Select the source that has to be added. We have options of Workday, Bamboo HR, SAP Success Factors, or UltiPro. We'll be currently doing on M Bamboo HR. Select Bamboo HR. Click on Enable. Give the name and the subdomain. For test demo purposes, I have already created a test account. And in Bamboo HR, here. We can see the domain that has been provided to us. We require the subdomain, which is currently ALCHE. Let's copy it from here and paste it in the required box. Now we need the API key. For giving the API key, we need to generate it in the Bamboo HR. We'll be generating the API key. Select the API keys. Here, click on add new key, give a name to it, the API key is generated, copy the key and paste it here. Click on verify, it shows the verification was successful. Now under sync settings. We can change the settings according to our requirements like enabling new higher pre-provisioning or running incremental sync automatically. For now, we'll be leaving it to the defaults and click on save. Now the new source has been added. After adding the source, we need to add the rule to it. For doing that, click on the checkbox of the source and from under the actions, select add rule. Here, there are four steps in adding the inbound provisioning rule. In the first step, write the name of the rule and select the provisioning rule mode, which could be active, preview or inactive. In the active mode, the, the rule shall be applied. In the preview mode, we will just be seeing how the rule will function once it is applied. In the inactive mode, the rule uh, will not be set yet. We can change this back to active after the configuration. Now select the source selection rule and click on next. Under the target, select the active directory and the domain and the domain controller and click on the target OU. Click on next and select the attribute mapping whichever attributes are required, click on their checkboxes. For now, we'll be selecting these four attributes. Then click on next and select the attribute options, whatever is your requirement. Then under password options, select either the static password type or the generated one. We'll be selecting static password, supply the password.
you can set other active directory group options or use a termination options according to your requirements. Now click on save and this rule has been added and this and is set to active. After adding the rule, we now need to sync it. In order to do that, click on the sync options and under that select the full and select the source that is test bamboo HR and click on run sync. The, it was successful and the sync job has been scheduled. Click on close. In order to view the job status and the job history, click on the view synchronization job status and reports. Here we can see the reports after the synchronization has been completed. Currently the status is, has been set to pending. Soon it will be completed and then we'll be able to see the report. Now after this synchronization has been completed, we can see the report of it. For seeing the report, click on this and the entire job report is available to us. All the details can be seen and we can even download this report by clicking on the download report button. So this was all about provisioning in Adaptive. Thank you.